And this is the system site um, with the bell siphon about to kick in. Um, the water trickles out slowly in case the pump turns off halfway through. But this is now this grow bed is now full with water. Not to the top, you don't want the top wet, but around here and you want it to just about an inch below the surface you want it to flood as nice and quickly to aerate the water. So the siphon is about to kick in and it should gush out gush out the bottom. The siphon itself is very very simple. A pipe within a pipe within a pipe. Um, I'll take it apart there once once it begins siphoning because I don't want to upset the start of it. Fish seem to love it. I think there's, a, there's a lot of extra oxygen coming in when the water flows along all the different systems and channels and growing media. Once it's gone down through everything, I'm sure a lot of oxygen has been added into the water. It's been stirred up quite a bit. A bit of rock in the corner. I'm going to hide this place. You can see that. You need to kick in now. You see quite a flow from it once it kicks in properly. The extra holes in the pipe are just for aeration. So you can see no extra pump, just the, the pump to get the system started and everything else is by gravity. I mean, the pump is only turned on for 20 or 30 minutes every two and a half, three hours. It's not turned on at night. We don't think it's needed at night. This one will only turn it on once at night. So that will empty the drawbridge. You can see the water level beginning to fall now. Once that gets down to over here, it'll turn off. So you have one pipe inside a pipe. And then you have this pipe over it. And the water reaches a certain level, it gets sucked by the air down. <laughs> 